Yeah, he's, uh, he's just got a good way to, to keep him alive, and that makes everyone's job tougher. You got to cover a little longer, but, you know, a man coverage, I got to cover my man, whoever that may be. I'm sure it'll be a variety of guys, like, every week. And um, it's got to do my job a little longer, but the situation of the season we're at and how important this game is for us, I'm willing to do that. And uh, we got to go out there and play our defense. We got to go out there and play aggressive, play smart. And we got to take the ball away like we did last game against uh, last time at home against Jameis. We got to go play our brand of defense versus their brand of offense, and there'll be, a, there'll be some fireworks. Somebody was mentioning Tyreek Hill, just not only the fact that he's so fast, but he can also run his patterns at that full speed as well. Have you ever seen a guy that has that type of ability before? Uh, Randy Moss is pretty good, yeah. pretty fast. I mean, yeah, Tyreek Hill's really. Uh, good receiver has been working. He's a good receiver. He's been working on his game and he's developing out the years. And um, yeah, he's a good player. I mean, we're, we could talk all day. They're really good on offense, guys. The best offense we've seen all year. So uh, we pride ourselves on being good on defense around here. And uh, I saw the Colts get after him a little bit. I saw Green Bay get after him a little bit. Uh, I seen some defenses. Houston got after him a little bit. They played man to man. They covered those guys up. So we got to do our best to do that, and we'll, we'll see what happens at the end. I know you expect Sean to step step right in, but uh, th there a moment at the beginning when you find out that Malcolm's done, where there's a, a sadness amongst the group that you you lose one of your guys. Yeah, there's a total sadness. I mean, Malcolm competes so hard, and um, you know I'm with him every day. See the work he puts in, and uh, anytime you have an injury take away your season and take away a game, you only get so many opportunities. So, uh, yeah, we all, we all feel for Malcolm here. That's that's for sure. Malcolm's, Malcolm will want us to play well and move on and uh, let LaShawn get his opportunity, and uh, that's how football works. What about LaShawn and just his attitude as a player? He's played a lot of games, but what do you like about him and what he brings? He's about his work ethic. He's probably one of the best press man-to-man -man corners in the league. He was the best corner in training camp this year, anyone covering training camp. He'd, didn't let up a catch in one-on-ones for 25 straight passes. I've never been a part of that. I've never seen anyone that that good at that. So uh, he's a good player. It just this league's about opportunity. He hasn't had it yet. So now, now is a great opportunity for him to be get some reps. And uh, I was a young corner before. I had to come in. It's hard to come in spot duty. So for him to be able to get some chance here to, get, to feel his game out and to put it to test is what this league's all about. And what I said earlier, I got my first start when Akeem Talib got hurt seven years ago. And I made the most of it. Malcolm got his first play in the Super Bowl. He waited 17 games or 18 games, he got in the Super Bowl, and now we know Malcolm Butler as Malcolm Butler. So that's how this league works, and uh, I think LaShawn's as ready as anybody. And uh, we got a really deep group, that's what we talked about. Not just a good group at the top, but we got a deep group of players. So what better opportunity to get your first start against Mahomes and the boys and uh, go out there in Nissan Stadium. Should be one he should remember. It didn't go so great collectively against Evans that first time. Is there stuff to be taken out of that now that you can apply going forward? Uh, as long as we win the game, we'll take it. So whatever happens, we got to win the game. We made adjustments throughout that game, and Evans had two catches in the second half, and we won the game. So as long as we win the game, uh, we'll take it. I'm convinced it is Mahomes. I don't think they publicly said that, but is it kind of preparing as if that's who you're seeing on Sunday? I have no idea. I don't yeah. think so. I'm preparing off what I see. They're yeah. – they're, they're, He's a, he's a game changing player, but I don't know if he's going to play or not. So, we'll, you know, I'm not going to chase ghosts here. I'm going to prepare for their offense and uh, have a good Wednesday practice here and get a good start. And uh, we'll see whoever goes out there. We'll I'm sure we'll have a plan for them. More scheme or personnel? Uh, third down like 45 percent of the time. How big is those third down stops for you guys in this one? Third down is huge. We don't want to play 70, 80 plays anymore. So third down's big. Uh, we got to get back to being uh, not just a good third down defense, but a dominant third down defense. And uh, those are things we're cleaning up on. Uh, you know, th tomorrow's a big third down day for us. Today's first and second down. So we'll take it one step at a time. But I think that'll be a good game within the game is third down.